yesterday's video, we mentioned OpenAI releasing a GPT builder and how it's going to be a game changer. Well, guess what else they released? A new GPT-4 Turbo model. Listen to what Sam Altman has to say about this. Today, we are launching a new model, GPT-4 Turbo. Number one, context length. A lot of people have tasks that require a much longer context length. GPT-4 Turbo supports up to 128,000 tokens of context. That's 300 pages of a standard book, 16 times longer than our 8K context. As Sam has stated, this is a new GPT-4 Turbo model that is the most advanced model that OpenAI has. It offers a 128K context window, as well as knowledge of the world events up to April of 2023. It has improved its function calling and can generate content very, very fast. This is where I would like to introduce Code Companion AI a project that is your personal coding assistant. Now you might be wondering, why showcase another coding assistant? Well, the reason behind this is because they have implemented the new GPT-4 Turbo model within their application, which allows you to code smarter as well as faster. You're able to utilize this new 128K context window, as well as up-to-date information with code libraries. This is a game changer as many coding assistant apps haven't even gotten to this point to implement the new GPT-4 Turbo model yet. Now throughout today's video, we'll be exploring Coding Companion more in depth, showcasing its capabilities, and basically just going over how you can install it. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video. We actually have a steady growing community on the Patreon private Discord. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this because there's so much value being dropped over here in terms of AI subscriptions being given to you, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more. We're just evolving in the world of AI. So if you're interested in all that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Give World of AI on Twitter a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where I can offer my consulting services to you guys, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing another coding assistant and that is called CodeCompanion.ai. Now, this is a powerful coding assistant that revolutionizes the deployment process. It does many of the different things that other AI coding assistants do, such as its ability to read, write, update code, execute terminal commands, as well as output readings. You're able to conduct natural language searches across the entire code base, as well as retrieve up-to-date information from the web. Now, this also offers you to autonomously, as well as converse with the AI to generate ranges of different applications like many of the other autonomous AI coding assistants can do. But one of the main things about this is its application, as well as its ability to utilize the new GPT-4 Turbo model. This is something that helps elevate this model to the next level, and it puts it ahead of many of these other AI coding assistants. Now, this tool is able to basically have itself positioned as a versatile solution, which is capable of creating different types of apps from scratch or collaboratively working on an existing code base so that you're able to develop various intricate different types of applications and models with Code Companion. Just take a look at this whole process in which it's able to install an application with GPT-4 Turbo. It's able to streamline it fairly easily and it's able to do it super efficiently. We can see that you select the GPT-4 Turbo model and once you have selected that, you can input whatever prompt that you want in case in relation to code. So in this case, you're trying to create a Remix app for a to-do list and we can see that it does it super fast with the Turbo model and it's able to utilize the 128K context length to output this generation. And we can see that at the end, it asks, please confirm if this architecture aligns with your vision for the to-do list application or if there's any additional features or changes you would like to discuss. So in this case, you can go back and see if there's something that you want to take out or edit or even implement 
and you can have it written over here so that you can continue forward with the installation. In this case, you can go forward and you can have it so that you can execute the shell command, command sorry, to install this. Now in this case, he has a setting where you require approval to keep going forward with the creation. But if you want it to autonomously function, you can obviously just turn this off and have it do it like autonomously, which is absolutely insane. And we can go on forward in which it starts to install it on your terminal, which is really, really cool. And it's super efficient for you to do this. Now, before we get to the installation, I want to just emphasize once more on some of these features because it's actually quite outstanding. Uh, many people haven't even talked about this. We are able to run terminal commands and read the output, which is something that we mentioned at the start. This is something that will streamline the whole process. You can see in this example over here, you're able to have it so that it runs the terminal commands and reads outputs from your terminal section within this application. It allows you run commands straight like directly into your terminal which is awesome you're able to use natural language to search the entire code base that you upload you're able to have it so that you can search the web and access up-to-date information through that this is very convenient and it's something that uh, is quite surprising that a lot of people haven't been actually talking about this you're able to use its autonomous or conversational feature which lets you run different code uh, completion tasks uh, autonomously or you can have it so that you can customize and modify things as you converse with the AI agents. Now, one thing that I want to emphasize is this multilingual feature in which you're able to access various different programming languages, operating systems, platforms, frameworks, as well as understanding several human language tools. You're also able to emphasize your security on this, basically meaning that everything that is stored within this application is 100% backed up on your local desktop and no third party is able to access it except OpenAI's API. They have stated that your database data and code are never sent to any backend server or third parties except this OpenAI API key or your API, sorry. And now let us actually get to the next step of the video where I showcase how you can start playing around with this. So select what option fits best for you in this case i have a windows processor so i'm going to go on forward and download for windows so i'm going to click on this and it's going to take me to install the launcher which is on the top right it'll take a couple minutes to install depending on your download speed but once this is finished i'll be right back so once you have finished installing the installer you can double click on it and open it up now this will prompt open the windows protected your pc page you can run it at your own discretion. In this case, um, trust it, so I'm gonna run it anyways. And it will take a couple seconds to load it up and it's gonna start the setup process to install this application. So once this is done, you're gonna be able to load it up after you agree to the terms and we'll be able to start playing around with it right after this is done. And just like that, we have it installed. Now there's a couple tips that they have recommended that you do right away. And that's firstly inputting your open AI API key, which is something that we're going to showcase how to do right after we close this. Now, what you want to do first is go on to the actual setup tab. In this case, you want to go to the settings and you want to input your key over here. Now, once you have input it, make sure you click save and then you can then move forward. By. Now, once you have inputted your API key, you obviously need to click save, but there's also a way for you to change the theme to light obviously the dark is the best for me and in this case you're also able to edit the index for code searching so you can set it to whatever is your preference and you can then move forward with the code companion and you're able to first start off by uploading your project if you want to upload anything so that it has the ability to converse with whatever data or context that you wanted to complete it with in this case, you're also able to select different models. The GPT 3.5 model is something that you can use right away for free. You're able to have it so that it can function autonomously as well as function while you can converse with codecompanion.ai. You're able to download your chats or your history as well as access different chats from previous conversations. And that's basically it for CodeCompanion.ai. This is a powerful coding assistant that utilizes the new Turbo model 
So I'll definitely take a look at this if you guys haven't already. This is something that will help you in many different ways for code completion as well as to executing various different ranges of code tasks. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out the links in the description below for this project as well as our YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, check out the Patreon page if you want to join our Discord. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, check out the calendar page. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.